Hi, this is Ryan with Be Superfly, and I'm excited to share with you today about a new plugin that we have. It's called the Divi Header Customizer, and this is something that we've seen the Divi community asking for for quite some time now, and so we're excited to bring it to you. Um, we have installed a uh, the plugin on a, uh, a demo here that is utilizing the Anthem theme, a really popular child theme that we have available on Be Superfly. Um, and uh, we're going to walk you through how it works. Um, so as you know, you've been able to um, update uh, easily uh, H1 tags as well as the body text size right in the Divi Customizer and the Theme Customizer section. Um, so let's uh, walk you through here. So you Divi Theme Customizer. So for quite some time in Divi, you've been able to update, uh, like I said, H1s and uh, body text size right here in the customizer under general settings uh, and then typography. Uh, what we've done, if you've, you've noticed this maybe down here is something uh, new. Um, this is the this is the plugin right here. And so right built into the, the theme customizer, um, you click in here and you're going to be able to, what we've done is we put the H1 tag in here. And again, that's something that uh, standard. Um, what we've done is is go ahead and we've went in went ahead and put in H2s, H3s, H4s, so you can customize all of them at one time. And so here's our install, and obviously this is H1. Um, this is a H2. Uh, we have H3 here, and we have H4 right here, um, and uh, H2, and again H4. So I'm going to walk you through just making some customizations here, and we think this is just going to make building websites so much easier. Uh, and so uh, we've been using it and we love it and hopefully it's something that uh, you you can uh, build into your practice and uh, can help you grow your business uh, and really speed things up. So first we're going to come in here and change the uh, H2s. Um, you, you see um, in, in the, the customizer here you have the ability to change it on desktops, uh, tablet, and mobile. And uh, your options here are changing the text size, line height, letter spacing, font styles, fonts, and uh, what's cool is we have all the Divi fonts as, as well as we added uh, uh, Google fonts, and you can you can do the uh, gradient colors, uh, so you really have full control uh, to change uh, the website settings and the, the look quite easily from uh, one place. So let's go ahead and uh, change the font here. Right now it's set to the default theme font, um, and uh, let's go ahead and change it to a uh, fun one here, Annie Use Your Telescope. Um, and uh, you see here in the preview, it's going to update that H2 right there. Uh, and this is also an H2 down here. Um, so we're going to change those. Uh, it looks a little smaller compared to the other one. So I'm going to bump that up to 50. And uh, let's uh, make that uh, bold. And while we're at it, let's make this one looks a little silly like that. So I'm going to go ahead and make it all caps. So you can see those have been updated. Um, and so we're gonna uh, let's save and publish that just to walk you through this first step here and I'm gonna refresh the web page and you can see that's live now and both of these have been updated um, and let's go in and uh, change uh, here on h3s and let's be consistent and use any use your telescope and I'm gonna you can see here it just updated that now that looks awfully small so I'm gonna just bump that up um, and let's do let's go crazy here and uh, use a little uh, gradient header colors um, and I think we'll you keep it diagonal and perfect let's keep this uh, looked like it saved my settings um, so that we're gonna have that match so we kind of have a nice effect there and again you go into the module and change the text but this is going to allow you to change the typography uh, on, a, on a mass scale. So if you build in these H3s and these tags throughout your website, you're going to be able to quickly update and make changes. Um, so that looks good. Um, let's save and publish. And we can refresh here. So there it is. And let's go ahead and knock out the H4s. Again, we will change, update the font. So that's taking care of these down here. Um, let's do 
bring in the line spacing a little bit or letter spacing a little bit there and maybe bump up font size let's do 30 and let's try removing the bold perfect and you can see it also updated these perfect now I'm no designer so I'm not pick, maybe picking the best what, what you would do with this but what I really want to just show is just how quick and easy it is to change multiple modules um, from the beginning uh, so it's important to um, know that if you customize the CSS in the individual modules um, that, that will this does not override the CSS in fact it's the other way in the modules you can override these absolutely but if you build it so it's using these tags throughout the website and provide consistency you're quickly going to be able to change not just the fonts but really the, the typography of the fonts which is great um, so this is available on B Superfly um, right now and uh, it's something that uh, we hope can really be an asset to the community and uh, we're excited to bring it to you guys hope you have a great day thanks for listening